Thank you. Let's have a round of applause for both teams. I'm Ryan McDonald, I'm one of the United Kingdom's Mars One 100 candidates. Our cameraman, if you just rotate the camera around, if you would uh, introduce yourself. Me, who's been holding the camera and switching phones for the past two and a half hours or so. So what can we do in the future in order to encourage more open collaboration and dialogue in the scientific community to push Mars One? Yeah, good question, and uh, I agree with you that uh, we should have done that from the start. Um, the challenge with um, working together with many different entities that start giving you uh, those kinds of inputs is that you do still need to manage it. And it's always, uh, uh, volunteer-based projects are unreliable. You don't know if someone graduated, so you will find a job and you'll start doing something else. So it's difficult to base your, uh, to base your progress on that. And so I think it's definitely feasible for certain aspects, uh, but not for the main components of our mission there. We just need to have the experience to have it done by and that, 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 those reports, so for example the report by Paragon, will start getting feedback from the scientific community. They will, they will support mistakes, but also they will suggest improvements. That's, that's, that's science. Point. Yeah, that's, I mean, that, that's how we report. So, yeah. so, so Mars One is a company right now. Mars One is not able to deal with that. It's a simple, smaller company. And we don't always have the necessary expertise to, uh, to value uh, or to to see if what we like is actually better or worse. Can you talk about Mars 1 being talking about this investment that you gave the figure of $15 million before you're looking at the moment to move Mars 1 forward to the next big phase? So what would that mean in terms of expansion of the team at Mars 1? How would Mars 1 change? Once the, I mean, you said before that the investment always support you just waiting until we would actually arrive. What does it mean for Mars 1 when they start this project? Um, it means growing the team in those two years to about 25 uh, people, having all the reports uh, done by the aerospace companies. Uh, so those, uh, those are the most important things we want to achieve. Just like with the Paragon, let's be open. Um, but at the end of those two years, I mean, this is the question I get as I do YouTube videos about Mars all the time, and about funding. So, is this just a one off thing that's going to move? Or is it kind of a first step in like a milestone by milestone deal? Um, how, how does this funding work in the longer term, one to two years? When you have all the you can achieve to some 15 million euros. We will, we will have built a much more established company, we will reduce the risk significantly, which will attract additional uh, investors. And it's, in principle, we, in our plan, we assume that we have no revenues until the first manned mission lands. Which is of course not realistic because we already have revenues <laughs> and we've just announced a deal with, uh, with uh, sports and underwear brand uh, Buren Borg, which is giving us revenues. There's, there's other things that have already happened, yeah. other things that will happen. Um, but to be on the safe side, we've assumed that uh, that's not the case. Uh, so we assume that in the period of about eight years, we raise those four, uh, six billion dollars. Because the one thing in particular, I know many people would have said, we're talking about a $15 million bridging deal to cover the next two years of Mars operation, which will produce so many technical reports to really push Mars forward. And I've heard cost estimates of around $400 million for the 2020 mission, assuming it'll be exactly the same as Phoenix Man's side. Do we know an idea about what kind of time frame we have for working with Lockheed Martin in order to actually start maybe construction of the 2020 mission? Uh, we, we should have done our next contract with Lockheed uh, in January of this year. Which I mean, part of the delay that we had. Yeah, so that, that gives us now um, basically almost a year and a half, a little bit less, uh, to, to be at that point again where we can actually finance it. So that's actually 
a lot more time than what I, I give myself. So is that a what, yeah. phase A treatment by Lockheed Martin? Yeah. Right. Um, do we know, well obviously that has to fit within the $15 million budget because it's part of that and all the other operations like the simulation now yeah. then. Um, are you willing to comment on how much that would actually cost that study from Lockheed Martin? Uh, no, because uh, we would like to be, be able to negotiate with them and maybe we'll ah, right. quote a number that's actually higher than what they had in mind, so I prefer not to do that. Oh, you also mentioned the the EDL study about the landing mass on Mars. Would that be included in the $15 million? Yes, of course. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, um, we've, had, we've had loads of great questions. We'll probably um, not keep any more time. Um, if you do have any time, maybe tomorrow after your talk, I'm sure we'd love to get you aside for any questions that we receive. Well, thanks very much. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you again. Thank you, uh, Yeah, thank you. One final question, actually, before I forget. How was your time in Iceland? It was very yeah, rainy when I was there. Recently. Boss, I'm going to be out here on the whole I had, I had very good weather. Oh, lucky, 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 lucky. I was only there for two days and only sunshine, well, some clouds, but sunny dry. How, how are we looking with these search numbers? Is it... Well, Iceland was the first location we were investigating. And we were but there's more that you're still investigating. Perfect, great. Thanks very much. There, we've had some very interesting revelations there. What we're going to do now, we're going to see if we can just after we're done with another film career, see if we can talk to Sydney and Andrew, the MIT PhD student. If we move to the back, then you'll see some of the other Mars 100 canoes actually, here with the CEO of Mars One, Baz Lansdorf. Let's see what's going on. So, say hello to the world. Yes. So, do you want to introduce yourself? Mars One Hundred. Sure. My name is Karen Cumming. Uh, I live in Brewing, Ontario, Canada, in Toronto, and I'm with the Mars One Hundred. Yes, I and I'm Kay Radzik Warren from Reno, Nevada, and um, feel very honored to join all my compadres here in Washington, D.C. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we've met, met before. Hi, everybody. I live here, two miles that away. People, will we introduce the lovely Yari again? Yari Rodriguez, also a Mars 100 candidate. Um, I'm here to keep you posted. I believe we have another one hiding outside there as well. And we have Etsuko over there. Yes. We have Etsuko, she's originally from Japan, and if I am correct, she is currently a chef in Mexico. I want to read more of this. Oh, and um, are you planning to make part of your simulation software open source? Yes. I know we did that before, but then it Yeah, so that's, uh, if you're interested in reading more, so the, the report is currently under review to be published in Acta Astronautica, as a journal article. Um, and we, of course, don't know when that's going to be published, but hopefully soon. And so you mentioned the simulation results. Uh, we want to make sure that when we put those out, have you written code? So I have, yes. You know how code <laughs> can end up, right? So we want to yes. make sure it's all commented. And it's understandable, uh, and that all of the all of the what things are connected to right now. MATLAB. Um, oh that's yes, our, that's okay. the one we know. Um, yep. Uh, so once the ACTA article is finished, once the code is all cleaned up and packaged in a way that that we think is is shippable, for lack of a better term, then, then absolutely we are hoping to share those models. Yeah, excellent. I, I know many other people keen to tinker around with. <laughs> but yes, um, and again, thanks very much. We we've, we've all really enjoyed the debate, and we've had people around the world watching as well. So. Um, Lay her off then, and then um, let's get to Mars. All right. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how long. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. See ya. Uh, thank you. All right.